Hey guys, we're going to do a quick DIY on maintaining your furniture you have around the house. This could be furniture that's your coffee table or dining room table or dining room chairs. Those are most heavily used in our house. Uh, so basically we'll go over and tighten some screws and stuff. So we're going to do this coffee table as well as this dining table and the dining room chairs that get a lot of use when we have visitors or even our daily use. You need some tools. So a stubby little socket wrench is probably what you need to do most of the uh, table legs and stuff, which we're gonna screw down, as well as a, a bit set. So you need like a Phillips screwdriver or some other ones. And usually we get a small kit like this that has a socket and many stuff to fix things around the house. I'll leave some links below for interesting kits, but I got mine at Home Depot or online. It doesn't matter. You will find that it has different types of um, screws so you have some phillips screws as well as some allen wrench screws or star screws or torque wrench screws you'll find all sorts of screws with furniture so that's why having a small kit like this as an array of um, bits is actually very useful as well as an extender too because if you get to small parts it's kind of hard you have to remove covers there's our there are screw covers that they have that to hide screw holes so removing those covers by using um by wiggling them off it's good but sometimes they might be glued on with wood glue so you might want to slowly nudge it until it kind of breaks that um the 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 glue well actually you don't want to break it you just want to slowly nudge it until it loosens up we normally don't glue our um those hiding things those uh those screw covers and just leave the dowels on there checking each of these uh, legs all the legs are loose a little so we'll go ahead and tighten all the all the screws and uh nuts that attach the legs onto the table as well as the nuts and screws that attach the table to the tabletop so going through all probably like 20 of these screws it'll tighten up and then it'll be nice and stable so even if your cat walks over it it's not going to swivel and move so we do do a test and check real quick and make sure it's nice and tight before we put it back upright so working on the chairs the chairs actually have a lot of use as well uh, especially dining room chairs because we use that every day there are basically nuts that hold the front of the legs into the chair and those are usually the ones that get loose there are also allen um, bolts that but bolts that actually go into other parts of the chair not sure why they use different types i don't really care i'm gonna go ahead and get like a 12 meter i think it was a 12 millimeter one and just is tying up those legs so i tied up all the legs and also allen wrench um, bolts that were on the chair so it's nice and tight now working on the dining room table same thing i'm looking under the table and seeing that they have a bunch of nuts that are part of the legs that are starting to get loose. So it's very simple this one because there's not that many other ones. Uh, I'm just gonna tighten those nuts so it's not as loose. You notice that it's loose and you don't wanna tighten it too tight, too tightly. You just wanna tighten it so that it's tight enough so it won't isn't loose anymore. So over the years, it starts loosening up probably a little bit. So that's really about it. it I know this is a very simple you know maintenance video. Just basically tighten it up. We'll probably do a video on surface cleaning and stuff later. But this is mainly what we do every year or every two years to tighten up the legs of the tables, legs of the chairs. Those are the things that get loose all the time. So anyways, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button for more interesting DIYs and stuff off of our off the Sterling W channel or Sterling Wong channel um, or f follow us on sterlingwong.com and also other mo uh, social media links. There's other DIYs available too. There's also some travel stuff too, but w there's more videos to come because I do a lot of Costco finds and a lot of shopping. So stay tuned for more, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and, you know, have a good one. Bye-bye.